everyone, I hope you're doing well and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a bit of a, of a requested video and that is going to be to give you guys a town tour of my Animal Crossing New Leaf town. So I have my 3Ds here so without further ado let's get straight into the town tour. So those of you who don't know this is my current 3DS. Um, I have changed up the cover plates a bit from last time i think i featured my 3ds in a video and someone on instagram who follows me actually very kindly sent me these cover plates for free i know i literally posted on my story i was like oh, i really want these cover plates because they're from the pokemon mystery dungeon series if you don't know and i was really desperate for them and a lovely follower kindly sent them to me as she didn't use them anymore so i'm very grateful to her and i'll give you a little close-up they're just so cute and yeah mystery dungeon is like my favorite spin-off game from the pokemon series and then before i just launch animal crossing this is my current theme which is the pokemon it's the look upon the star scene based on the um very recent pokemon center collection which i have a few things from and i just love this collection so much it's like everything i'm about which is like constellation in the night sky and stuff and it's just so pretty and i even have that little cosmo plush that i managed to find at hyper japan yeah and it's just really really cool and i have way too many themes but they make me very happy and also i'll give you a little sneak peek into all the badges that i've been trying to collect i was i've also got very back into badge arcade Evie Emmy, she actually got me back into it and I've been playing it every single day and these are just some of the ones that I have on display down here. I mainly like to collect the Pokemon sprites and also a lot of Animal Crossing ones as well. Now let us launch Animal Crossing. Um, so for a bit of background with my New Leaf game, I've, well I got it on release which was June 2013 and I've actually had the same town since the day it came out. Like, no joke, I have kept the same town for four years now, which I honestly cannot believe. Um, I'm very, what's the word? <laughs> I find it very hard to restart games, especially when I put a lot of time and effort into them. Even with, like, my Diamond and Pearl games from, like, ten years ago, I still cannot restart those. So, yes, let's start the game, Isabel. Also, I'll put this on a little bit, but not so much that it gets a bit irritating. Oh, Willow's leaving. She's nice, but I would rather get someone I really love by using my amiibo cards. So, I'll just bring it a bit closer. This is my house. And obviously, as I've had the same town for four years, I obviously have basically the biggest house that you can get I think um, maybe one or two rooms are not fully expanded um, I don't think but anyway this is like the mansion and as you can see I've got like the mermaid palace and then I have a pink door oh, I cannot believe there's a freaking house here and they're like it's annoying me so much um, and I have a very, a very cute fence, and then I've also got the mermaid letterbox, and I'm actually happy that it's a very, it's a very nice day, so let's just take a quick screenshot. With my eyes half shut, that was so good, oh my god. I think I'll check my mail later, and then I have a lot of rarer colour flowers surrounding my house, so that's always something I like to do. I have to say, I've been less, like... Well, obviously I've had this game for four years, so I've been... I don't play it every day now. I play it maybe a couple of times a week because I like to check in with my town and make sure nobody's going to move out, like Julian. But I don't play it every single day anymore, so the way the flowers are, like, I'm not super... Um, what's the word? Picky about where they are. They, I just kind of, like, let them grow. But I do like the ones around my house to be of the rarer colours. It would be better if that house wasn't there but anyway so I'll give you a little look, look at the map as well this is my town map so my house is there and then a little sneak peek of my villagers who, which I'm pretty happy with at the moment there are a few I would like to get in my town hello mole oh mole's just the cutest ever yeah 
yeah my town ordinance is what's it called basically someone where weeds don't don't grow hey tina fun fact when i played wild world i would literally water my flowers every single day because i didn't want them to die and i would always pick out the weeds and my mom would always be like whenever i came home from school oh is it time to water the flowers now but with this ordinance it means i don't have to which i'm very grateful for as i have a lot of flowers i'm gonna stop rambling and show you more of my town oh wait here's roll i've got to say hi to roll because roll is like my baby as soon as um you could like scan in the amiibo cards and i could get rolled in my town i immediately did that because oh, roll is like my absolute baby and dina like they were some, some of the characters I had in my very first like wild world town so i am very attached to them we carry on from my house that is just the campground and of course you all know what the campground looks like pretty much i've got a fountain here i really need to put some flowers around it i think it's looking a bit bare and then this is uh Pekui's house don't think i said that right more flowers we have a beautiful heart which illuminates illuminates at night and a lot of white roses yes i just kind of let my flowers grow wild because I have other things to worry about in life sadly than where every single flower is. We have lemon and peaches and yes I have pretty much every single fruit in my town. My town fruit is cherries like a lot of towns are but I've managed to collect most of them. More flowers, oh yes this is Paula who just moved in. She's not a favourite but she's, she's cute so I'll get to know her and give her a chance in my town. This is, that was Paula's house. This is Roll's house. And then we've got my recycle place, a little pond. And then, oh, ah, Paula. <laughs> Up here we've got a jungle gym, which is pretty cute. Then we've got a bridge that goes over to my other side of my town, but I'll finish giving you a tour of this side first. Yeah, I can't run in my town, sadly, because of all the flowers. <laughs> if you ever come to my town, just do not run, or I will kill you and never let you back in ever again. That's Willow's, who's leaving. That is Poppy's house. A lot more flowers. This is my baby Julian's house. Let's see if he's in. Nope. Let's see if we can find him when we're outside. Down there is my beach. We have a very beautiful flower watch for some wonderful photo op opportunities, and I wasn't blinking this time, thank God. We have a flower clock. Orange tree. Oh, this is like a cute little illuminated tree that especially looks nice at christmas time ah weed be gone weed julian he wants to talk to me Ooh, a chair sculpture i've never had that before i don't know what that looks like but yeah i'll google that later what it looks like we have a wooden bridge so we can do some fishing Ah uh, yes, this is my roost cafe. Let's go pay a little visit. Hey Brewster, how are you doing? Oh, oh, oh Capan's here today. <laughs> oh, I do love Capan. I have to say, Animal Crossing is never a game I'm ever going to get bored of. I can just play this game for hours and hours. This, this game is just so beautiful and I really hope when it comes to Switch soon. We have a lot more trees and flowers here. And then down here we have a very cute photo board that I got I got a pattern of and it's Serena from X and Y with a uh, little mind junior, which is so adorable. More flowers. This is the like just the police station, I think it's called. Where you can often get some secondhand items. Sadly, a lot of the time, none of them are of actually any use. So I had to stop for a quick tea break there. 
So, we've got some more flowers. We have this very beautiful, I think it's the fairy tale clock, which I really, really love. And then this is my town tree. It's pretty big now. And for um, hardcore players of this game, you'll know if you sit on this town tree, then like credits will play alongside you with some very whimsical music that honestly nearly makes me cry. And it's it will just show you like the history of your town when people mo moved in and I just still can't believe it says like the, the date started is like June 2013. Oh, Crazy Red is here today. Let's go see what he has for us. Hey Red. I have to say the one thing I'm very bad at collecting is paintings. Where does that sculpture? That is... I think it's a man. Yeah. I do love this music though. Hee <laughs> hee. Goodbye, Red. And carry on. Here is where we have my town hall and my cat machine. I am actually trying to build it to be. Uh, what's it called? I'm trying to renovate the exterior of the town hall, but it's a lot of bells. And my town flag is a glacier, which I really need to update, to be honest. It's been that for a very long time. My other half of my beak is down there. And then this is... That is Nox's house. We have a random mushroom. We have a lamp. Oh, somebody's actually in the campground today. I'm so happy. Nobody's been in the campground for so long. Who's it going to be? Oh, oh my gosh, yes, it's Lolly. Ah. Sorry if I'm like really high pitched. Okay, I've got to get her to move in. Oh my gosh, oh my god. Okay, Lolly, I'm gonna come back and you're going to move in. You will, just you see. Oh my god, that actually made me so happy. I love Lolly so much and Willow is moving out so it's like perfect timing. So yes, up from my town tree, we have a lot more trees and that is my bridge connecting to the other side have another fountain uh, it was Poppy's birthday do, do, do. Do, I do love the music a lot got a little hammock so if you want to take a little snooze then you can I like how it's in like the very corner of the town yep so back the other way we go Also, if you play Animal Crossing, tell me down below who your favourite residents are. Mine, as I said, is pr pretty much Julian, Rold, I love Dina, I really want Patty in my town as well. The likes on my face. Oh, hey Poppy. And I also have a very soft spot for Leaf. Leaf is like, oh my god, I love Leaf. I want to push with him. So this is just my town. Pretty much got everything. I've still got Club Low. Um, I have the Dream Suite, Fuji Booth, Museum. I won't do a museum tour today just because I feel like it will get a bit long. But if you want to see like random extras like that, then please tell me. We have Tin Emporium, Able Sisters, and Hairdressers, and of course, Kicks. So I think I'll just take a little sit here on the bench, get an extra little snap. Oh yeah, actually, before um, I go, I'll just quickly show you, well, I've got all of the emotions, but, ah, oh, wait a second, I need to hop down before I can show you my, um, my player card. Yep, this is my player card. That's my dream address, so if you would like to visit my town, then there is my dream address, as I always get quite a few requests for that. Yep, registered June 14th, 2013. My badges. Got quite a few, but aren't as many as I thought I would have for having this game for um, about four years. So I need to get my butt going with getting more badges. Yes, that was a tour of my Animal Crossing New Leaf Town, which is called Twin Leaf, which I completely forgot to mention at the start of this video. Yes, my town is called Twin Leaf after Sinnoh Town because I'm obsessed with Gen 4. 
But yes, if you did enjoy this, don't forget to give it a like and su to subscribe before you go. If you've not played Animal Crossing for yourself, I highly recommend it. Trust me, this game is just purely magical. Other than that, I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys.